Hi, welcome to the first video of my new YouTube channel, The Wizard's Apprentice. In this channel, I'll be focusing on visual effects in general and compositing specifically. But I will go into more detail about my plans for the channel in a future video. Today, I want to demonstrate an unphotorealistic rendering technique I have tried recently on a still image. Here is the original image and the result I managed to achieve. I got the inspiration for this technique from a talented artist called Emre Janjuboko. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Anyway, a while ago he released a video showcasing the material he created in Substance Designer. I really liked the result, so I wanted to see if I can achieve a similar effect in any compositing package. I used Blackmagic's Fusion since I prefer using it for most of my compositing work, but you guys can achieve the same result in Nuke, After Effects, Blender's Compositor or any other compositing software you like. I started by getting a couple of brush strokes, which I used in a particle system to create some brush textures. Of course you don't need to do the same, you can use any brush textures you find online. I created three textures, large, medium and small. I then used them as displacement maps on the image. An important step here is to slightly blur the image to soften the details a little bit. Tweak the displacement settings to your liking, then use the alpha of each of the brush textures as a mask on the displaced image. And these are the three images I got. Ideally, you would want to mix these images using masks, to use the more detailed one for the focal point of your image, while using less details in other areas. However, for this simple test, I just added the three images on top of each other and dropped the opacity of the layers a little bit. You can also use some blending modes if you like. Finally, I used the high pass filter to get back some of the details I lost when I blurred the original image. You can see the difference between the image before and after adding these details. From there, it was basically a matter of grading to achieve a look I liked. The great thing about this technique when used with 3D rendering is that there is no need to set up any complex MPR shaders. You can start with a photorealistic render and push it as far as you would like towards MPR. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this in the future.